Kia ora, welcome to Normal News. Now the big news here in New Zealand is that the government has pledged to introduce legislation to legalise medical cannabis. The reports we're getting now however is that they're not considering allowing home growing or having a patient registry or a medical necessity um, defence in court. Instead they're considering a pharmaceutical based approach. Now this may include uh, streamlining the process for doctors, allowing domestic production of certain pharmaceutical products, possibly allowing botanical based cannabis products in certain circumstances and conceding that CBD is not a control drug and making it allowed over the counter. Now these are all really good moves in the right direction but they don't go far enough. Patients tell us that they want to be able to grow their own. They find pharmaceutical preparations like Sativex to be hard to get, really expensive and actually not as effective. If we continue to not allow access to herbal cannabis, tens of thousands of New Zealand patients will continue to be in the same situation they're in now, which is to be criminalised simply for treating themselves. Now we think the test of any proposed law change should be, what would Helen Kelly do? Helen didn't want pharmaceutical only access, she wanted patients to be able to have that choice to grow their own. Normal actually has a four point model for medical cannabis law reform. Point one is to be patient focused, now that means safe, affordable access to botanical cannabis. Point two is that it needs to be immediate, not some long drawn out development pathway. Point three, domestic production. That's crucial to increase choice and bring down cost to patients. Point four is to allow patients the choice to provide for themselves, to grow at home if they want to. So what do you think? Tell us and tell your MP. Share this video and when you post on social media, use the hashtag, what would Helen do?